Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we are gonna be making the Easy Breezy Bun Beanie. This is one of the many patterns I have in the Easy Breezy collection, and they all feature this fun ribbed texture. This is the Easy Breezy Bun Beanie, and it's named that because it has a hole in the top. So this is perfect for when you're wearing a ponytail or a messy bun. You can fit it right through the hole in the top so that you don't have to take your hair down anytime you want to wear a beanie. Uh, this pattern comes in four different sizes. We have child, teen slash adult small, adult medium, and adult large. Here I'm going to be making the adult medium size, but no matter what size you're making, you can follow along with this video tutorial. Just be sure to check the measurements down below so you know exactly what size to follow along with. If you guys are ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get started. For today's tutorial, you will need a medium four weight yarn, a 5.5 millimeter or eye hook, a yarn needle, and scissors. So this pattern can be made in four different sizes. We have child, teen slash adult small, adult medium and adult large. I'm going to be making the adult medium, but if you follow along with the instructions in the top right corner, you'll be able to make any size. So all of the sizes are going to start off the same. So we're going to make a slip knot, and then we're going to chain 20. Now this is going to make the loop at the top that we're going to work around, and this is going to be where your bun or your ponytail will be able to come through. There's another option to use a hair elastic instead of making this loop. So if you want to see that, you can check out my blog post or the paid version of this pattern that's on my Etsy and Ravelry. Uh, the pros to using the elastic is that it will stretch out better and the elastic will stay stretchier for longer. Uh, but the cons are that you need uh, extra supply, you're going to need the elastics, and that if you don't match the color, exactly to your yarn, you will be able to see the elastic through. So I like this version just using a chain, but if you'd like to see how to use the elastic, just check out the blog post or the written instructions for this pattern. So we're going to carry on. So we slip knot, we have our hook in there, and now we're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A chain of 20, and now I'm going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain that we worked. So slip stitch into that first chain. It doesn't really matter if you twist your chain at all because we're gonna be working around it so it's going to be hidden. So we're gonna make a slip stitch and that just gives us our loop. So if you wanna adjust the size of this loop, you can just chain more or less, um, but this will be good for all sizes. It will stretch out a bit, so um, it should be able to fit any size ponytail, but if you want it smaller, feel free to chain less. So now we are going to chain to start the length of our hat. So you can chain as many number as you want, and this is going to adjust the hat length. So for the medium size, I'm going to chain 36. For the child size, you're gonna do 31. For the teen adult small size, you're gonna do 33. And for the adult large, you're gonna do 38. So just chain whatever number you need and feel free to adjust it if you'd like. Okay, so I just made a chain of 36 and this is what it's looking like so far. So now we're going to be working back into this chain that we just created. So we're going to start, this is going to be row one we're starting on. So starting in the second chain from the hook, so we see that's the first chain, we want the second chain from the hook, we are going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to work a half double crochet into each chain across. So whatever number you chained, you're going to work one less half double crochet um, for your total stitch count, seeing as we worked in the second chain from the hook. So I worked 36 chains, so I'm going to have a total of 35 half double crochets across. So 
So I'm just on the last half double crochet. So that is row one. Now we're going to connect to our loop here. So to do so, we're gonna work inside of the loop, working around this chain, we're going to crochet, or sorry, single crochet one. So working around that loop, single crochet one, and so that's gonna attach us to this. And then we're gonna chain one and turn. So now we're gonna be working back into row one off of our loop here. So be sure to work into the last half double crochet we worked. You're not gonna be working into that single crochet that we just worked around the loop. We're gonna start off in the very first half double crochet, um, the last half double crochet of the last row, and we're going to half double crochet in the back loop only. So if we look at our stitches from above like this, you can see the V shape of the stitch. So the one closest to us is the front loop, the one furthest away from us is the back loop. So working in the back loop only, we're going to half double crochet, just like that. And we're gonna work one half double crochet into each stitch across. So for the remainder of the pattern, you're always gonna have the same stitch count across. So mine for the adult medium size, mine is always going to be 35. If you are doing the child size, then yours is always going to be 30. If you are doing the teen adult small size, yours is going to be 32. And the adult large is going to be 37. Now obviously if you adjusted your chain length at the beginning, yours is going to be different. But just be sure that it's always the same as your row one. So we're just going to half double crochet, back loop only, all the way across. I'm just coming up to the end of row two. So this is what we're looking like at the end of row two. So now we're at the bottom of the hat again. So I'm just going to chain one and turn. And now we're gonna be working back up the hat. And just like row two, we are going to half double crochet in the back loop only, all the way back up the hat. Now you might notice with the half double crochet, the half double crochet actually has three loops on it. So when you look at it from above, you can see the front loop and the back loop. So we're gonna be working the back loop, but don't get confused the front loop with the third loop. So on a half double crochet, the back of a half double crochet, it's gonna be facing us now because we turned our work. It has another loop on it and that's the third loop. So we're gonna be working still in the back loop only. So if you're confused at where that loop is, if you just flip your work up so you can see the V at the top, the one closest to you is the front loop, the one furthest away from you is the back loop. So we're just gonna work in the back loop only, half double crochet, all the way back up the hat, making sure your stitch count is always remaining the same. It might get a little bit confusing when you hit the top of the hat. You might not know um, which is the last stitch. So if you need, just count your stitches again and make sure you always have the same amount of stitches. I'm just coming up to the end of row three. So this is what the end of row three is looking like. And as you see, this is what our beanie is looking like so far. It has that rib texture in it from only working in the back loop only. So now to finish off this row, we have to connect to our loop again. So we are going to working inside the circle we're going to uh, single crochet one and chain one, turn our work. And now for row four, we're gonna be working back down our hat. So all the even numbered rows will be working from the top to the bottom of the hat. And then the odd number rows are gonna be working from the bottom to the top of the hat. So for row four, same as row two, we are going to half double crochet 
in the back loop only um, all the way down our hat. Make sure you're starting that very first half double crochet into the last half double crochet from the last row and you're not going to be working into that single crochet we worked around the loop. So I'm just going to work one half double crochet, back loop only, all the way back down my hat. I'm just coming up to the end of row four. So this is what we're looking like so far. So at the end of row four, we're going to chain one and turn. <clears throat> and now for rows five on, we're just gonna repeat rows three and four. So you're just gonna keep working up the hat, join to the circle, work back down the hat and keep going. And so since I'm doing the medium sized hat, I am going to work for a total of 38 rows. If you're doing the child size, you're going to do 34 rows. If you're doing the teen, adult, small, you're going to do 36 rows. And if you're doing the adult large, you're going to do 40 rows. Now you can adjust this if you want. Uh, the amount of rows you work is going to be the width of the hat. So if you want it larger or smaller, you can work as many or as few rows as you need. It doesn't really matter if you end on the top or the bottom of the hat. Um, so yeah, you can really end wherever you need. Um, so I'm just going to continue on just repeating rows three and four all the way until I'm done. So if you guys just carry on and I'm going to catch up with you guys when I get to the end of my hat and then I'll show you how to close it up. I'm coming up to the end of my last row. This is what we're looking like now. So I'm at the bottom of my hat and this is what it looks like when it's folded in half. So now to finish off our hat, I'm gonna chain one and turn again. And now we're gonna slip stitch the two ends together. So the two long ends, we're gonna slip stitch together to close up the hat. So to do so, we are going to be working in the front loop now. So the front loop, so again, if we look at our um, the top of our stitches like this, the back loop is the loop furthest away from us, then the front loop is the one closest to us. So we're going to be working in the front loops only, so the one's closest to us. So on this side, so I'm going to insert my hook into the front loop only, and then we're going to also be working um, into the very first chain that we made, so the starting chain um, before row one. So working straight across into the very first one, we're going to work a slip stitch. So we're going to slip stitch, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So front loop only of the row closest to us, and then into the chain right across from it, like so. And we're going to do that all the way across. So we're just going to slip stitch these two ends together, working in the front loop only, and then in the chain from the beginning. We're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch across until we get to the top of the hat. I'm just coming to the last few stitches. So this is gonna be my last one. Okay, and when you reach, oops, when you reach the last stitch, you reach the top of your hat, we're just going to slip stitch to um, our loop, our circle at the top here. So just attach to that with a slip stitch. And we're going to chain one and tie off our yarn. You want to leave a few inches, enough for you to weave in. So I'm going to leave about four to six inches. 
take that off. Roll that nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and I'm gonna weave in this end. You can weave in any ends you have at this point. Okay, I'm going to cut off any excess yarn I have. And I had a little bit of a tail left at the top here, but I kind of worked around it so it's kind of just hidden in there. If you have a longer tail sticking out, you can cut that off or weave that in. So I'm, now I'm going to flip this inside out. And then you can fold up the brim. So here is our, you can, can barely even see it. This is where we uh, just seamed it up so it's pretty much invisible so I'm just gonna fold the brim you should have about a two and a half to three inch brim and then who's ever wearing it can adjust it um, however they need and here is our hat so again I made the um, adult size medium and it should fit a uh, head size around 22 to 23 inches and then you can adjust the brim um, higher or lower to just the head height. And there we go. There is our easy breezy bun beanie. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can find this pattern and many more free patterns on my blog whoshomemade.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.